Hi everyone, Stepan here. Uh, I am going to start uh, recording some training games and today I'm going to play the first one after a long time. Uh, my last training game on Leeches was seven months ago. Uh, I'm going to play a 15 plus 10 game. Uh, I just hope that everything will be okay on the screen. I'm going to check uh, once. So if you've seen my recent tournament games, you'll know that I did pretty poorly uh, recently, unfortunately. So my next tournament is in about a month, a bit more. So I'll take that, that time to prepare, uh, mostly to work on my tactics and on my mental state, uh, to put it simply. Uh, but yeah, I'll, I'll be doing a lot of stuff, uh, mostly uh, tactics and complex endgames, which uh, have been my downfall recently. Okay, uh, I'm playing with the black pieces uh, and I'm going to play c6. I think everything should be okay on the screen. I don't... Okay, you can see the time, you can see the ratings. My rating is actually provisional on leeches, which is weird. Okay, he plays queen e2. Oh, I haven't looked at this for... At least a few years. <clears throat> okay, let me try to... Remember everything. Okay, so taking I think is the safest move. Pushing d4 is kind of risky. Uh, by the way, I'm outside, so if you can hear my neighbors and cars and birds, well, we can just say that it's poor tournament conditions or something. It's not always going to be perfect during a tournament. Okay, so after d4, I remember playing a blitz game a few years ago, maybe five years ago actually, where I went d4 and lost, so I know that white gets pretty good play there. If I take on e4 and knight takes e4, knight uh, to d7 loses to checkmate, knight d6. Uh, Okay, what are the setups? I think I can play a g6 setup. I can also play with knight f6, allowing him to take. But I think I'm just going to take and play g6 because I think that's a perfectly good setup here. I don't think there's anything wrong with this. Uh, I get to develop my pieces to very natural squares and I also don't allow any tricks. This knight could be used as a tempo gain later with bishop f5, so for, for now I'm just going to develop sensibly. I don't think there are any tricks on f7. Uh, if the queen comes to c4, I can always play bishop e6 or queen d5. Uh, okay, I'll just play knight f6. d3 is strange, I'm not sure what he takes with, if I take, if he takes with the queen, then bishop f5, queen b5, attacking b7, queen c7, bishop f4 is possible, so I'll just castle, I don't, I don't want to trade pieces if I don't have to. My rating is actually provisional, that's weird, uh, and it's really low. Okay, time to develop. Uh, Knight d7 seems like a normal move. Uh, I don't want to commit my bishop just yet, so... I think I'm going to play for e5 eventually, but he, since he didn't play d4, maybe I don't have to play e5. Rook e8 seems okay. Uh, queen b6 seems okay. Queen c7 seems okay. Uh, I definitely don't want to play b6, weakening my c6 pawn. Okay, uh, previously when I played these training games, I would get lost uh, in my thoughts and think too long in the opening, so I'll try to play relatively quickly now. Where do I want my pieces? I'm actually not sure. I think I like rookie 8, uh, because 
again there are no problems on f7 so I think this is a sensible move and the idea is to play uh, e5 and then move my queen away could actually go queen c7 bishop f4 e5 then because everything is triple defended I could also choose to trade on e4 Okay, c3, what does that do? He could have played d4 previously as well. Does he want his bishop on f4 or on e3? I'm not sure. I think the bishop should go to e3 uh, because c3 now defends the b2 pawn. So I'll put my queen on c7. I like that supporting e5. And if he plays d4, then I'm going to play e5. Uh, but then my rook is not defended. <coughs> so if he plays d4 here, I'm going to trade and gain a tempo on the queen, develop my bishop to f5. So d4, knight e4, queen e4, knight f6, queen e2 probably. And bishop f5, can he go knight h4 or knight d4? Well, he can. Now I've undefended my rook, so only my knight is defending it. So there could be some tactical issues. But queen c7 allows me to, to go b6, bishop b7 maybe. At some point. Okay, so he definitely wants to play bishop e3 because he played both c3 and h3, which, which prevents queen b6, queen b2, and knight g4. So now I think I'm given enough time. To actually play b6, I don't see what's wrong with that. I don't think my bishop has a future on f5. And if I do go b6 and bishop b7, I don't see a way for him to punish me. So I think my plan is b6, bishop b7, c5. To put another break on d4. And if he plays d4 now, I'm still going for the same exchange. Knight e4, queen e4, knight f6, queen e2, bishop b7, and then c5. And that way I think both of my bishops are very active. I think this is a good plan. <coughs> Though I'm not sure. Since my queen has been developed to c7, defending c6, and since against bishop f4 I have e5, and since I've also blunted bishop e3 now because I'm going to play c5, I think this is strategically the best idea. Also, his queen and his rook are lined up, so b6 is a good idea because I may have bishop a6 ideas in the future if I ever play a5. Okay, so if I allow a5, he's going to play a6 as well, chasing my bishop away. So I think I should prevent a5. For the moment it loses a pawn, but uh, to be honest I don't want to take. But what I have to look at is the position after a5 now, he does something, I play bishop b7, he does something, and then I play c5. How weak is the b5 square? That's something I have to consider. And if I don't play a5, if I just play bishop b7, then a5, b takes a5. Can he then go c4 and bishop d2? Yes, he can. So that pawn is going to drop with tempo on the queen. And I'm also giving up control of the c5 square. So yeah, I don't want to do that. And if I go a5, can he put pressure on b6? He can play bishop e3, but b6 has been defended twice. Can he go b4? a5, b4, takes, takes. Then my rook is defending a5. So yeah, I think I'm going to play a5. I don't want to allow a5. Even if I win a pawn, because I think with with 
this, something like this, this pawn is going to be weak. And also now, <coughs> if, if he ever plays d4, I have bishop a6, forcing c4, weakening d4. In which case e5 is going to be really strong. In these training games, I'll just try to share my thoughts, uh, whether they are correct or incorrect. And hopefully that helps you. Okay, bishop d2. Uh, I'm very tempted tempted to go bishop a6 actually to to prevent d4 but I also also like bishop b7 because now if I go bishop a6 I'm actually threatening knight e4 where he has to take with the queen and then I play knight f6 and d3 is weak and then I play rook a d8. So, okay, I'm not going to spend too much time. I think both bishop b7 and bishop a6 are fine, but I'm going to play bishop a6. I don't see any tactical issues with it. So, if I now take... Again, he has to take with the queen. Takes... If he plays queen e2, then rook d8. If he plays queen e3, then rook d8. d4 loses the exchange. So now I actually have a threat. I like bishop a6. Okay, so a5 was correct. I mean, I mentioned that if I ever play a5, I, I could get to play bishop a6 because these two are lined up. I actually got in pretty quickly. Someone asked me uh, a couple of times when I was doing these training games, what am I drinking from my small cups? It's an espresso. I always drink espresso, always drink coffee without any milk. So this is an espresso. Okay, uh, I'm a bit short on time compared to him. I have 10 minutes, he has 12, which is still okay. Haven't really reached any critical positions yet. This may be the first one. Did he just blunder? Okay, knight e4, queen e4, knight f6, queen e3, rook a d8. He has to play c4. Then I go e5. Knight e4, queen e4, knight f6, queen e3, rook a d8. Has to play c4. <coughs> can I then just go b5? I think I can. Then he has rook c3, defending the d3 pawn. But I have knight d5 winning the game on the spot. So knight e4, queen e4, knight f6, queen e3, rook d8, c4, b5, a b5, c b5, c b5 attacks my queen, which is not good, and I lose a bishop, so I didn't see that, so I cannot go b5. So knight e4, queen e4, knight f6, queen e3, rook d8, c4. Huh. Against queen e3, I can actually throw in knight d5 immediately. Okay, I'm, I'm going to take to see what happens. Let's see whether he plays c4 or not, because I can at least take on b2 after queen e3, knight d5, queen moves, takes on b2. And I, again, I have to play quickly. I just spent three minutes on calculating nothing. Or a minute, excuse me, which is still a lot. Okay, he goes queen e2. Maybe I should start with knight d5, <coughs> so that against c4... Oh, actually, rook a d8, c4, knight d7. 
preparing e5 and knight c5 and threatening to take on b2. Okay, I like that. That's a good plan. If he goes c4, I go knight d7, threatening e5, bishop b2, and knight c5, attacking this, attacking this. Okay, that's a good plan. I think my position is much better now. I have more active pieces. I have no weaknesses. I didn't consider that. Okay, if I go rook d3, knight d3, rook d8. He plays rook e1, I take on d3 with the bishop. I don't win my exchange back. Okay, rook takes d3, knight takes d3, rook e d8, rook d8. He doesn't have bishop e4. He has to play rook f e1 or rook f d1 <coughs> or queen e3. No, queen e3 loses, queen e4 he cannot do. He can go queen f3, but that loses the exchange. So rook d3, knight d3, rook d8, rook d1, bishop d3, queen f3. Yeah, I don't like it. I'm just giving up the exchange. I'm not getting my exchange back. So I'll just continue knight d7, uh, increasing the pressure. Yeah, I, I will have to look at rook d3. I mean, it's an exchange for a pawn. But since he gets to take with his knight first, then the rook gets to d1. And I don't actually get the exchange back, I think. Maybe it was winning, but... It's going to be an open center position, so I don't want to give up the exchange that lightly. Okay, so now he doesn't have c4. Once I play knight c5, he doesn't have d4, because the queen is hanging. Also, I can take on a4 if he moves the queen before that. He doesn't have bishop f4, because I go e5. I think this is better than taking on d3, but... If it was winning, it was winning. I don't know. I mean, they definitely have better pieces. He has a rook on f1 and the knight on e1. He has a weakness on a4, b2 and d3. <coughs> Maybe even f2, if he ever plays c4 and then my bishop gets to d4. I think my neighbors are getting restless, so if you can hear something, but again, poor tournament conditions, I'm sorry, but it's really hot inside. Yeah, I like knight d7, because it liberates my bishop, reinforces e5, and brings another piece into play, and once my knight... Okay, this has to be a bad move. <coughs> Okay, I can just take on b2. I don't see what's wrong with that. Takes on b2, and once he plays rook c2, I play bishop d4, threatening queen g3. Yeah, I'm just going to do it without too much thought. I, there cannot be anything wrong with this. If he plays bishop f4, I have bishop e5. Okay. Again, I don't think there's any... Ah, I lose the c6 pawn. I lose the c6 pawn. Okay. Ah, in the end he has bishop c6. Okay, so bishop e5, bishop e5, queen e5, queen e5, knight e5, bishop c6. That's a problem. So I maybe have to play e5. But then he has bishop g5. 
Ah, I don't want to give up my C6 pawn. Okay, E5, Bishop G5, Bishop C1, Bishop D8, Rook D8. Can he trap my bishop? No. He cannot trap my bishop. And if I go bishop e5, then bishop e5. If knight e5, I can go knight e5. Bishop e5, bishop e5, knight e5. If he plays... c4, uh, d4, I have bishop c4, or knight c4, excuse me. Okay, e5, bishop g5, f6. Does that work? e5, bishop g5, f6. That should work. And if e5, queen b2, ef4, g4 queen f4 should work so yeah i'm gonna play e5 i think this is better so he cannot take on b2 he cannot play bishop g5 i think Maybe he can play bishop g5, because on f6 he can play bishop f6 or queen b2. I mean, I am a pawn up, but... Maybe bishop e5 was better, I, I'm not sure now. Okay, this surprises me. I think bishop g5 was the critical move. I mean, here... He doesn't really have a way to exploit my dark squares. If he takes on, 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 on f4... I don't have to take back. Although I could. And then takes, takes check if bishop g2 then bishop b7 I like my position <coughs> I should never play c5 though okay Knight c5, does he have to play queen c2? Because I like knight c5. I also like bishop b7, improving my bishop. Knight c5, if he plays d4, what do I do? <clears throat> I also like knight f8, knight e6. That could be the safest option, actually. I also like knight e5. Preventing him from developing. Knight e5 prevents knight f3 and knight c2. So I think I'm gonna do that. That seems to be the most active move. I don't want to allow him to develop easily. If he can get this knight somewhere good and then put the rook on e1, then I'm just a pawn up. If his pieces stay on the back rank, then, then I'm much better in the pawn. <coughs> Yeah, 
And if he plays rook b1, what's this move? Okay. Okay, bishop b7 or c5 first, c5 here. Can I just take on c4? Knight c4. Knight takes c4, d takes c4, rook takes bishop is good. Knight c4, rook c4, bishop c4 is good. Knight c4, bishop g6, knight b2 is good. So what's wrong with knight c4? I don't see what's wrong. Knight c4, d4, rook e4. I think that just works. Knight c4, d4, rook e4, knight c4, rook c4, bishop c4. Yeah, it works. And if the queen moves, I can just go back defending here. And then if he ever plays d4, I'm still attacking the rook. I'm very short on time, so I'll have to speed up. Queen there doesn't worry me too much uh, can I just go b5 I like b5 should I just move my knight away If I play knight e5, I'm threatening knight d3 or bishop d3. And also c5. Maybe I should just play c5. Yeah, c5, then he's on my knight, so I cannot do that. So, okay, I'll, I'll just go knight e5. I need to play quick, safe moves. c6 is still defended. d4 still cannot be played. Next, I'm thinking uh, I'm just gonna play c5 and bishop b7 and trade his only good piece. He cannot develop his knight still because I take on d3. Okay, I don't get this, so I'll just play c5. I don't see what's wrong with c5. Again, I have to start playing quickly. I have to st start playing really quickly. Now that I've played c5, I've consolidated my extra pawns. And next, I have rook d4 and rook d8. After which, the game should be over, I think. Because I will be threatening rook takes bishop. Okay, he wants to put pressure on b6. So what? I'll just play rook d4, attacking the pawn. And also threatening rook takes bishop. And if rook b rook b3, I always have rook b4. Which is kind of a cowardly move, but I'm two pawns up, so I don't see why not. Yeah, this actually wins even more material, because now rook takes, rook takes, pawn takes, knight takes, check, rook takes, and then bishop takes. I think this works.
has to take, I mean. Okay, he didn't take my rook. That's strange. What? Why didn't he take my rook? I'm confused now. Okay, uh, I'll just play, play rook d4 instead of uh, rook a4 so that on rook e1 I can unpin with rook d8. I just want to play it safe now. Obviously, I'm a bishop and two pawns up. Also, I don't have to play rook d8, I can play rook e d8 because my knight's defended. Okay. Yeah, I'll just increase the pressure. I have a minute on the clock. Why do I only have a minute on the clock? Minute 54, but still, that's... If knight e4, I have bishop b7. Maybe I should play bishop b7 now, so that I can, uh, I can threaten f6 and just win a rook. Okay, knight e4 threatens, bishop b7 threatens taking. Can I just take the pawn? Maybe I can just take the pawn. Yeah, I like bishop b7, I don't want to take that pawn. This check is nothing. I like my bishop here, because then I have queen c6 if he moves the knight. If I take this pawn, I'm liberating his pieces. Both his rooks and his queen are bad when the pawn is on d3. I, I have enough material, so I don't have to take more. The only thing that worries me is that I'm short on time, otherwise the game is obviously completely winning. He has to move the knight. He has to move the knight. If he doesn't move the knight... Okay, now I can just trade everything off, I think. Takes, 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 takes. Queen d7. Yeah, I'll just do that. No, my bishop is too good. I don't want to do that. Maybe I should just do that. Maybe I should take on a4, and then just go back. Yeah, I'm gonna take another pawn. I don't see why not. Nothing is loose in my position, I can just do that. Then I can take the knight later. Because actually this 3 to 1 is not easy to move with the pawn on a4, so... Why not take another pawn? Then I'll go back and then I'll take and then I'll trade. Cannot play rook d2. Cannot play anything really, I don't know. Also, I could consider bringing my knight to d4 and just... Okay. Uh, maybe I shouldn't pin myself. But... Yeah, it has to be okay. Queen here doesn't do much. I can just block the diagonal. Okay, here I'm blocking the diagonal, and the next move is queen c6. Ah, I have a minute on the clock. Ah, I hate being in time trouble. This is time trouble for me. 
Like, I can play Blitz games, but yeah, I, maybe I should have taken this pawn and just... Yeah, maybe I'm gonna do it now. Yeah, I'm going, I'm gonna do it now. I, I don't like this pawn, it sort of cramps my king. Now if he plays knight e4, I can just take it. Several different ways. Okay, uh... Yeah, I guess I'll just take this one as well. I'm up so much material. Maybe I should have gone queen c6, but I want to play quickly. Okay, I'm gonna play queen c6 now. He wants my rook to move, so that he can do something here. But I'm not gonna move my rook. What can he do? I don't see what he can do. Yeah, I, I thought he was going to do that, but now I have knight of three coming. <coughs> With devastating consequences. And he, he never has king to, to d2 because I can just take. Oh no, I cannot take. Don't move your rook. I have to remember not to move my rook. Okay, uh, I think this should be okay. Check so that I can defend my pawn like this. And then here. And then let's defend the pawn. I don't want to lose the pawn. And then I'll just play h5 to get rid of this knight. And then I'll play king h7 actually, because this pin is very annoying. Okay, I got a bit more time on the clock now. Everything is solid, everything is defended. I need to play h5, I need to unpin my king. I could also just play f6 and unpin that way. Yeah, but I want to get rid of this knight. Definitely. I want to go h5. How much material am I up? I'm a bishop and five pawns up. Okay. So I can actually give up my queen and still be okay. I can give up my queen for a pawn. Okay, h5. Let's get rid of the knight. I mean, he doesn't have any squares. Maybe he's going to resign now. This is going to be two pieces and five pawns. Okay, I'm not afraid of the attack on the H file. I don't think there's an attack on the H file. Okay. I'll just trade that off. He cannot win the pawn because if rook b6, then queen a4. Okay.
Okay. I'm just going to pin this rook because it's annoying. And then I'm going to one pin here. So if rook b6, rook a4 check. Yeah. Now I get to trade queens off, which is good. Okay, now I can do this with 10 seconds on the clock. Okay. Whew. Okay, let's see how I did. Uh, analysis board. Uh, I don't s know what you can see here. Wait. If I turn on the book... Let's see if we go back. Can you see? Yeah, okay, you can see the moves. Okay, so let's let's have a look at this. So takes queen e2. Uh, yeah, I knew that d4 and d4 were the main moves, but as I said, d4 is kind of risky. Uh, d4 is kind of risky. So takes bishop f5 is the main move. I played g6. I'm gonna turn on the engine to see the evaluation. Can you guys see the evaluation? No. Okay, you can see the bar. You can see the bar, and g6 is a mistake, it's plus 0.8. Huh. Okay, I'll actually increase this so that you can see the... Uh, a bit more, I guess. Wait. Just a second, sorry about this. Okay, so now you can see it, I think. Okay. Uh, so let's see, uh, here, 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 yeah, let's not use the engine for the entire game. So this is all fine, I think. You can still see the evaluation on the top, which I don't like, but okay. Knight bd7 is a mistake, knight e4 was best. Okay, so knight e4, I guess d4. Okay, but knight bd7, it's still... 0.4, so it's okay. C3 I didn't understand except to defend b2 if bishop e3. Queen c7, h3. b6 blunder, okay. Because of what? Knight f6? Why can't I take knight f6? Ah, because now I don't have e5. Okay. Yeah, okay, so b6 was bad. a4... a5 is a mistake. Knight e4. Again, it's the same, it's the same thing. Bishop d2, yeah, okay. Bishop a6. Yeah, this was correct. Knight f6... Ah! Oh, Jesus, knight e5 straight away! Why didn't I see that? <laughs> okay. Wait, could I have taken on d3 here? Let's let's look at that. I wanted to see that. No? Oh, he just has c4. Ah, oh, blind. Okay, c4, bishop b2 here. And now, let's see if e5 or bishop b5. Bishop e5. Bishop e5 is also okay. e5 is good. Queen b2 takes g4. Knight e5 blunder, c5 was best. I didn't want to play c5, but I guess I can just play bishop b7 immediately. Yeah, bishop e4 is a blunder, knight c4 just works. Also c5 is good, also it's minus 6. Here... Knight d2? Ah, knight d2! Knight d2, if queen d2, then rook e4. Also rook e4 straight away. I played knight e5, which is also okay. c5... Yeah, the engine doesn't like rook e4. I'm sorry, my neighbor has a really old and loud car. So now he, he turned it on. Yeah, but rook e4 is the cleanest, I feel. Okay, just went back. Yeah, 
Yeah, okay, this is pretty clean, I think. Let's just see if I had a forced win or something. Rookie 6 is okay, H5 is okay, he doesn't save his knight, this is okay, trading rooks is okay, this is good, yeah, now trading the pieces is good. Okay, so, apart from B6, I think it was an okay game, B6 was a bad mistake. B6 was a mistake because I didn't have E5 after that. Okay, I hope you like this. Uh, I hope that you guys that asked me to do training games are content. I will do more of them. Thank you for watching. Stay tuned for more chess. See you tomorrow. Bye-bye.